Here's the Dirt is brought to you by Asgro DeKalb. Well, the butterfly population may still be on the decline, but it's important to learn everything possible about them to be able to help out. We're here with the DIRT, it's University of Illinois Extension Educator, Sarah Vogel. Hey, Sarah, thanks for being with us today. Hi, thank you so much for having me. All right, so I know in years past, we've been hearing about the monarch butterfly situation being on the decline. Has it, is it still in that kind of predicament or have we seen any improvement? Um, you know, it has overall, uh, the population of monarchs have been in decline for about the past 20 years. Um, and so we've been putting on uh, promotional events like this for some time in hopes of bringing it back. I think we're starting to see some populations go back up. But overall, for somebody like, uh, for a state that, uh, like Illinois, it calls itself the prairie state, there is not that much prairie left for monarchs to have as habitat. I will say I have felt like I've noticed more butterflies this season than in previous years. So hopefully all the efforts that we've been doing with encouraging people to plant the, the milkweed seeds and the flowers that, you know, attract butterflies has been helping a little tiny bit. But you also have um, an event coming up that we're doing virtually this year. Tell me about that. That's right. So Monarch Madness is an event that our Macon, Macon County Master Gardeners have put on since, I believe, 2015. Um, and of course, in the past, it's been an in-person event. And this year, like many things, we're going virtual. Uh, but we still have great things to offer, like a keynote speaker. We have arts and crafts. Um, those who would like to participate uh, have to register. And then we'll send out a packet of um, some information and some crafts and things like that. Uh, to everybody who would like to attend. That was gonna be my next question was, how do you plan on doing arts and crafts virtually, but they have to register in advance and then you'll send them the material? That's correct. So um, anytime now through, I believe, August 31st, uh, participants can register um, on the link that you have or will put up on the website and uh, then we'll mail out a package. Um, and so if it's a family, for instance, with three kids at home and each kid would like to participate, they'll need to register for each of the children. Um, and then we have a, our wonderful master gardeners from Macon County that will lead each craft. We have some experts from uh, Central Illinois here on the Monarchs um, showing a video and a presentation. And then our grand finale, which will be uh, some pre-recorded video and pictures of a capture, tag, and release because we like to see where the monarchs go on their big uh, migration. You tag a monarch butterfly? Well, not me personally, but yes, some of the master gardeners do. Uh, they have, we order some tags each year from uh, Monarch Watch, which is a pretty neat uh, system because monarchs, they're pretty fascinating pollinators. They travel anywhere from Canada or the eastern half of the U.S. and travel, oh, a few thousand miles to places, to just a few mountaintops in Mexico. Each year they do this and then come back and, and breed and feed here in uh, Northern America. Okay, so this has me fascinated. When you tag a monarch butterfly, what is the life cycle, or I'm not cycle, but life expectancy of one of those butterflies? Because I wouldn't think it would be that long. Well, you know, I'm not actually sure how many trips a monarch makes. I don't know what their life cycle is. I'm a bit more of a plant person than an animal or insect person, so you have to excuse that I didn't know that part. Um, but they uh, so they will breed and feed here in North America and then make the tr the trip all the way down there because just like many of us humans, they like to live somewhere warm. They don't want to be here when it's cold. Well, absolutely. Well, you know what? It just proves that I need to get signed up for this virtual monarch madness um, event so that then I can um, maybe post my question for the experts. Right. And so we have picked up uh, some of the monarch way stations have picked up flights of monarchs that we've tagged here in places like Brazil and other places in Central America as well. Very cool. It's fascinating. Well, and anything we can do to encourage the monarch population and to um, educate our families about it, um, I'm all for it. Okay, so people can register. When is this event happening? 
This event is on September 13th. That's a Sunday from 2 to 4 p.m. Uh, again, you'll have to register before August 31st so we can make sure you get your packet of information and goodies. Uh, we will have a ticket for a drawing in there for some giveaways later. And especially if there's any teachers that are looking for kind of nature-based, science-based crafts uh, or projects, they are welcome to sign up one packet for their class too. Wonderful. All right. Well, it's going to be a great time to learn more about the monarch butterfly situation here in central Illinois, sir. Thank you so much for your time this afternoon. Thank you so much for having me. Absolutely. We'll connect everyone to all the details on this event and how you can learn more at CILiving.tv.